everybody. My name is Doug. Welcome back to the shop. This is the first video of the 2018 year. I hope everybody had a nice holiday and a safe New Year's. Uh, this first video we're going to be getting into is using the bolt hole circle function of the EL400 from DRO Pros. Uh, we're going to uh, be using this on a project that we've got coming up uh, where we need to drill uh, six uh, holes, both of them on different uh, radiuses around the part. And uh, I've never used this function before, so we're going to come up with a simple program. Program the, uh, the digital readout uh, for the X and Y uh, coordinates of each of the holes. And then we're going to go ahead and proof that uh, on the mill here. So uh, let's go over what we've got to do, and we'll get to programming it. Thanks for joining us. All right. Very simply, we're just going to go ahead and create a four-hole bolt circle. And we're going to make it super easy. We're going to go out one inch in the x-axis, put a hole on each of the four cardinal points. So the first one is going to have a coordinate of x1, y0. The second hole is going to be x is 0, y is plus 1. The third hole is going to be negative 1 in the x, 0 on the y, and the last hole is going to be 0 on the x and negative 1 in the y. Now in the programming on the uh, DRO Pro's EL400, we've got uh, a couple of things going on here. Uh, first of all, anytime that you use a function, whether it be the arc cutting or the bolt hole circle, uh, their starting angles are always zero degrees along the x-axis. From there, you can come around in a counterclockwise uh, fashion and denote where your first hole is going to start. Uh, so what I mean simply by that is that if your first hole doesn't come right off the uh, the x-axis and zero in the y, if it comes off at, uh, you know, let's say a 30 degree angle, then your starting angle will be 30 degrees. Uh, for this uh, scenario, we're just going to come straight off because I want to be able just to quickly proof this. So our first uh, starting angle is going to be zero since it'll be coming straight off the x-axis and then work its way uh, all the way around. So I hope that's uh, not too confusing. We'll go ahead now to the uh, to the DRO uh, head and start the programming of it. All right, just to give you guys a precursor as to what I'm uh, doing over here on the table before I uh, zoom in specifically on the reader head, I've got a fixture in here for the parts that I'm making, and just wanted to show you that I've got a little bit of a uh, of a step built in here with a precision. Uh, diameter on the top which is where I'm going to locate my bolt hole circle uh, from on my pieces but I have basically swung an indicator around that diameter and found the zero zero on the X and Y to the dead center of my fixture here uh, I didn't bother showing that um, there's probably tons of videos on how to try to find uh, zero on the uh, bridge port so uh, I'd recommend any of the uh, any of the other YouTube content providers uh, if you have any questions on that, certainly leave a comment and I can go into a deeper explanation on how I did that. But just to save time, um, I didn't end up showing that. So right now, I am right in the center of my fixture here at zero, zero. And I will show you over on the reader head uh, what that now is going to look like. So zero, zero is the center of the fixture. And let's go to the reader head. All right. Here's the reader head for the uh, EL400 by DRO Pros. Um, what I've got basically now is I've done a couple of things as far as the zero, 00 that we just talked about. First of all, I'm in absolute versus linear. So my absolute zero, 00 is set at zero, 00. And I've also set it in the incremental mode so in case anything happens, I can go back to the absolute and refine the zero of my uh, of my fixture. It'll automatically be stored in the reader head. So in incremental mode, what I'm going to go ahead and do now 
is I'm going to go into the bolt hole circle function. We'll press that, bolt circle, press enter. All right, the first thing that we have to do is enter the center of where the bolt radius starts from. So this is going to be zero on the X, and then enter it for the Y, which is going to be zero again. Every time you press zero, it's not showing up, but you hear me pressing zero, and we'll enter that. Now we go ahead and it's gonna ask us to describe the radius of the circle. So we're gonna make that radius one inch. Now, this is the starting angle. We talked about the zero being all the way to the, uh, if you look at it from the cardinal points on the compass, all the way at east. So we're gonna start that out as zero. And then we have to describe the number of holes. So we're going to do four holes. Entered. Now, basically what you've got now is it's describing to you what the coordinates X and Y are for that first hole. So if we drive this over, you'll see the Y is zero and the X is coming from I'm not coming from, but we're going to, we're driving it to zero, zero. Now, if we take a look at the part, you'll see exactly now what these coordinates are going to be. Right, we've driven uh, the X and Y coordinates for hole number one out. It's going to be plus one on the X, zero on the Y. And I'll just throw a rule up there, get the approximate center of the start position. And it looks like the center drill is right on the one inch mark. So that's where that hole would go. Uh, you can't see it uh, back and forth here, but we are going to be in the uh, zero on the y-axis. So that proofs out, so let me go ahead and check the next hole. All right, now that we've drilled and checked our first hole, not actually drilled it, but just used the rule like you saw to check the location, we're going to go to the next hole. In order to do that, we press the right arrow key, which is the number six on the keypad, and that will drive us to the coordinates of the second hole. Now remember, it works counterclockwise from the starting point, uh, angularity-wise. So we're going to move the x-axis. Remember that next coordinate is going to be an x of zero. Whoop, a little past it. x of zero, and now a y of plus one. And we come up on that little thing, right there, ish. Within two tenths, that's fine for what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and take a look at that indication on the rule, uh, using a ruler to make sure that we proof that location out. All right, hole number two. Uh, probably can't see it because of the position of the camera, but you can see that we're back to uh, X being zero on our coordinate system and hole number two is going to have a plus one. So if I lay this down uh, here, uh, it's, it's difficult for me to get the camera in there, but we are reading uh, plus one inch in the Y axis, obviously zero in the X axis. So that checks out for hole number two. Let's go ahead and slew over to hole number three, which should be negative one in the X, zero in the Y. All right, now that we've proofed that, again, back over to the right arrow, the number six on the keypad, we go to hole number three. Now what's nice about this is that if you use the up arrow or the number eight, it'll tell you what hole you're on. So you're on hole number three. Hit eight again to go back to the original screen. We're on hole number three, so we're gonna drive the x-axis to a minus would be event, end up being minus one in the X and zero in the Y. So coming in, getting a little bit closer. Four, two, zero. All right, that's hole number three. Like I said, you can press the eight button. That is hole number three. We'll go ahead and check that with the ruler. 
proof that position out and then we'll come back for the last hole. All right, we're at hole position number three. And uh, like I said with the camera, you can't see it, but we are in the uh, zero and the Y. And if I bring my ruler over, approximate the center of the fixture, go out one inch, and that's just about the center of the uh, center drill. So that uh, checks out. And we'll go to the uh, fourth hole and uh, check that out. All right, again with the last hole, we go ahead and number six on the keypad. We use the number eight. That's the fourth hole. That's going to drive us to coordinates of X being zero. And Y being negative one. Now when I say negative one, you're looking at that indication and saying, all right, how come he's just going back to zero? Because basically what it's telling you is it's driving you in kind of a linear uh, fashion to where the next hole location is going to be. So even though it says zero, zero, when we look at it uh, on, the, on the tabletop of the mill, we're actually going to be in an X0, Y, negative one position on the, uh, on the hole location. So that's one nice thing is that you don't have a bunch of different numbers, X and Y coordinates to keep track of and it becomes confusing. You go from one hole and then it drives you to the next hole until it's zero, zero, drives you to the next hole until that zero, zero, and so on and so forth. So we're in the fourth hole. Let's go ahead and check that with the rule and we'll come back to the reader head. All right, here's hole number four. This is super difficult to shoot with the camera, but uh, the fixture is back um, one inch from the center drill here. And uh, I don't know if you can kind of see that, but that's just about right on. It's obviously zero in the X axis, which is where it should be. So number four hole checks out. Well, folks, there you go. Using the bolt hole circle function on the EL400 by DRO Pros, uh, it's a great uh, it's a great item to have on the uh, on the reader head. Saves me a lot of time from having to work through the machinery's handbook and come up with a bunch of extrapolated X Y coordinates for the six hole bolt circle that I've got to do uh, with two different radii. Uh, so that would be it saves me a whole lot of work having the uh, the reader head figure that out for me. So. Hope you found it informative. Click like and subscribe, of course. Uh, leave any comments you want with any questions. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. But uh, always work smart and, uh, and always be safe. So we'll see you next time in the shop. Thanks for joining me. Take care.